Hey everyone, so a bit of a kind of like random topic today, but I just kind of want to talk about something that me and Dan have been like discussing recently and I thought it would make a vi interesting video topic because it's like one of those occasions where I want to share like my kind of personal stories and my kind of personal opinion on things um, but mostly I kind of want to hear what your thoughts are because this is one of those things that could be like a little bit kind of controversial but I don't want to make it sound like I'm just kind of like here ranting away so I genuinely kind of want to hear your thoughts on this and like whether you've experienced the kind of people I'm going to be talking about and if you have what you think of them like are they actually tolerable are you just going to turn around and say Rachel you're being so silly stop it there's not even a problem here um or do you kind of like agree with me and do you think yeah these people they're a bit annoying aren't they grr I don't know genuinely want to hear your opinion so this isn't just like me having a rant so the whole point of kind of like this video that I want to talk about is that I quite dislike people who are kind of self-proclaimed intellectuals and I don't mean that I dislike intellectuals I mean that I dislike intellectuals Th there's a difference I'm gonna try and explain it so I don't just mean that I dislike smart people <laughs> and I don't mean that I dislike people who talk about smart things. I mean I'm lucky enough to be friends with some really really intelligent people right? And like hearing their thoughts on certain topics and learning from them, debating certain things with them, it's like one of my favourite things. It's, it's a privilege to be around people like that and it is something that I really do appreciate in people. So they're not like the kind of people that I'm talking about at all, like not by a long shot. The kind of person I am talking about is kind of difficult to define and I am going to be referring to them as like intellectuals in quotation marks, right? Because like I say, it's difficult to define but I think you'll know them if you've ever met them. So they're the people who kind of, they value having people think they're smart above almost like anything else in their life. And they're the people who will like join a conversation not because they think they've got something to add to it but because they think whatever they're gonna say is gonna make them look smarter do you know what i mean you know it's like the people who will put down someone else because they like might ask a certain question or they don't know something or they haven't shared the same experiences as you or because like they might like something that you don't find intellectually stimulating, you know what I mean? Like the kind of people who mock people for liking pop music or for reading like trashy fiction or whatever. I mean like if you've ever been on um, r slash I am very smart, that, that subreddit, you'll see a lot of examples of this kind of person, right? So I do kind of like mostly see them online, but they do kind of pop up in real life too, I guess, just luckily not as much for me. Now I've like almost definitely been guilty of kind of like letting this behaviour kind of slip out in the past. I, I mean, I think we all have. It's kind of like a human thing to do it occasionally. Like, I'll be having a conversation with someone and suddenly something will slip out like, oh really, you, you, you didn't know that? And then I'll kick myself because I'll be like, that is the douchiest thing I could have said just then. So even though I personally probably didn't mean it in like a belittling way, I will still regret saying it and now I make a habit of kind of like watching what I say quite closely and making sure that the words that come out of my mouth are what I actually mean, if that makes sense. So what I'm trying to say is that I think that this kind of like slip is common in most people at some point in their lives, but they're not the ones that I have an issue with. I'm on about the people who do this quite regularly and often are aware that they're doing it and don't really see a problem with it. Another kind of like clarification I want to make is that I'm not just talking about like any smart or intelligent person or anyone who just ta talks about kind of like you know intellectual topics I'm, I'm not talking about just anyone like that right another personal example again um please bear with me for kind of like doing this I know some of you don't really like it when I talk about kind of like my personal experiences with stuff but I do find it kind of helps me explain my points better but since I started making these kinds of like atheist and sciencey and you know just like serious videos and stuff right on on youtube i like to think i've always been kind of like pretty honest with you guys i'm <laughs> someone asked in my live stream the other week if i'm the same in real life as i as on camera i was like yeah i think so <laughs> so anyway i i like to think i'm quite honest with you guys and i i know i'm not 
an expert on most of the subjects I talk about. A lot of this is still kind of like very new to me and I'm just making videos about things that I find interesting and kind of making videos as I learn stuff and kind of talking about things as I kind of develop and grow and expand my knowledge, right? And I like to think that it's a bit of a two-way learning thing because sometimes I will share the things that I'm interested in and the things that I've learned with you guys and I share my opinions on them and stuff and then you guys teach me a hell of a lot of stuff in the comment section, right? And I seriously appreciate that. But like I say, I think it's kind of a two-way thing. Um, I don't have aspirations to be some kind of like big academic or some leader in the field or whatever. I just enjoy making videos and I enjoy talking about things that I find interesting. And mostly when I do talk about these things, I like to look at the way that like big issues and stuff affect actual real people and real everyday lives, right? So to summarize, I'm still learning and I recognize that I really don't know everything. And this kind of like, I, I wouldn't say kind of like became a, more apparent to me, but it was definitely kind of like a thing I noticed when I was speaking with Stephen and Alex at the weekend. And I realized that those two obviously know like infinitely more than me about a lot of like atheist related topics, right? I'm talking with my hands a lot today. And, and I mean, it's completely fair. They've been doing this a lot longer than me. They've been learning this stuff a lot longer than me. They've been talking about this stuff a lot longer than me. I mean, I did a business related degree, right? Arguments of whether God existed or not didn't come up in those lectures very much. And by very much, I mean not at all. And that's fine because I'm new to this and hearing those two talk about certain issues, even when I didn't have anything to kind of like add myself and even when I had to, you know, potentially ask them what could have been kind of construed as stupid questions, it was honestly kind of like incredible to hear them talk and learn from them. And when I did ask those stupid questions, they were really patient with me and they were really nice and they explained stuff. And they didn't judge me for not knowing certain things yet or not having read certain books that they'd read, which I kind of really appreciated. So what I'm trying to say here is that they're intellectual people, but they're not intellectuals, if you know what I mean. Because they're not the kind of people that I'm talking about because they don't judge people who don't know as much as them which is something that I really respect. But anyway, I feel like that was a really long rambly way of saying I'm not just judging smart people here. So, so like, let's talk a little bit about the kind of person who I am talking about, these kind of people who I label like intellectuals who do annoy me. Um, and again, let's throw in some personal examples, right? So since I started making videos on this channel, I've noticed that every now and again, I'll get a comment from an intellectual or other channels that I know will get similar comments, right? And there are a few things I find really bizarre. And one thing that I'm always being told is that I need to be careful and if I don't like read everything that a certain critic says on a certain topic or if I don't read every book by a certain author then I might make a mistake and that could be very embarrassing. And, and it's something that I literally got told in my comments like two days ago and it's something that comes up repeatedly. People are like, if you make a mistake it could be very embarrassing. And I'm sorry, but just no. Mistakes aren't embarrassing. If I make a mistake, I simply go back and write a correction in the comments or I put a correction in another video. It's not embarrassing, that's just what like the learning process is. Yeah, there have been occasions in the past where like I've maybe missed a bit of information or I've misread something, misunderstood something and you guys have been amazing enough to say, oh, I think you might have been wrong about that bit. Have a read at this and, you know, see if it changes your mind or I actually find that this is the case. And, and then I'll go back, I'll make a correction and it's great. I've learned from it, you've learned from it, it's all good. Where's the embarrassment? I don't understand this thing about kind of like belittling someone because they make a mistake and be like, oh, you made a mistake, that's so embarrassing. It just seems really silly to me. So this is kind of one of those like intellectual trademarks that I find where they assume that everyone should have the same level of knowledge that they do. And if you don't, it's so embarrassing for you, isn't it? I'm like, no. I also think it's kind of like important to mention at this point when people tell me, you know, I'll be embarrassed if I get something wrong. The things I'm always referring to tend to be like something really, really minor that I've like mentioned or something where I've just kind of like said it as like a throwaway comment. And often I'll say something like, hey, I don't know about this stuff, so correct me if I'm wrong. And again, I don't see any reason to be embarrassed by that. 
I'll happily admit when I don't know something and I, I don't think that's something I should be embarrassed by. But then you get intellectuals commenting saying, oh, it would be embarrassing if you didn't know that, wouldn't it? I'm like, no, I'm not claiming to be an expert at anything. I'd never like blatantly lie to you guys. I'm not embarrassed to say that I don't have like a complete set of knowledge yet. I'm not embarrassed to say that I'm still learning. I just, one of the things I find bizarre and dislike about intellectuals, right? And like, I guess kind of like a counter argument from people like this would be like, well, don't make a video on a topic that you don't know everything about, or don't make a video on something if you admit that you don't know something yet. Which I guess is kind of like a fair point, but on the other hand, I'm like, if I waited to post anything until I was like an expert on the subject, or I waited to post and make videos until I was an expert in making videos, or if I waited to post something until I had the best equipment possible, right? If I waited and waited until, then I don't think I'd ever get around to making videos. And it would honestly, I think, slow down the learning process. Because like I say, I learned so much from you guys in the comments and I really, really do appreciate that. And I think without making these videos and without your input, um, God, no, I wouldn't have learned half as much as I have in these last three and a bit months. Not a chance. So another kind of like recent encounter I had with an intellectual was a guy who told me to stop beating a dead horse by talking about the topic that I was talking about. And instead they wanted me to respond to this like philosophical topic that they found interesting. Um, because apparently it was, I don't know, more important or more interest. I don't know, they never actually explained it. They just said, let's wonder this instead. And, and I'm pretty sure this was, this guy was an intellectual because you know, he had a lot of the hallmarks. Yeah, first off, I just kind of like want to say that just because a topic is old to you or because you've heard everything about a topic before, it doesn't mean it's old to everyone. I can't just jump straight in at the deep end when I'm learning about things or when I'm talking about things without addressing some of the more basic stuff first. And as I'm making these videos, I want my videos in this channel to be like a place for everyone, even beginners, even people who just want a bit of entertainment, even people who don't want to take this stuff too seriously. Whilst also some of the videos might be for people who want to be challenged a little bit more. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Honestly, like YouTube is a mainstream platform and I want to appeal to everyone, not just like the top 2% of smart people in the world. I think it's silly to say that I only want to, I only want to talk to the smartest people and I only want the smartest people watching my videos because that's, that's stupid, that's unrealistic, that's not fair. I think even people who aren't like academically the smartest can have some really incredible insights and I want to learn from them as much as, you know, people who went to fancy schools and stuff. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm rambling again. But the other kind of issue I had with this guy as well, you know, as an intellectual, was that when um, this other commenter jumped in and said, oh, well, you know, here's my take on this argument, here's my take on this, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the original guy, he responded with, oh, wow, never had a basic philosophy class in your life, huh? I just, I found that so rude. I do not appreciate that. And it just, it made me so mad to see someone talking to, you know, another one of my viewers and commenters like that. Um, and it's one of these things I dislike about intellectuals is that they put so much emphasis on um, kind of classroom learning and actual kind of like academic stuff and qualifications and you know it's, it's like the people who get so like intense about IQ, IQ scores it just seems really silly to me I'm sorry but like philosophy classes in, in this particular case aren't a normal thing that every kid just has access to. It's not like, you know, maths and stuff, is it? Like my school, my sixth form, never offered a philosophy class that even if I wanted to, I didn't have access to it. When I got to uni and, you know, <laughs> on my biomed course and later my business course, I never had the chance to do a philosophy module. So again, even if I want to learn about it, I couldn't. There were no opportunities for me. So now, now that I do have an interest in it, I'm starting to kind of teach myself. I'm reading books, I'm reading websites, I'm watching videos, I'm having to teach myself. And I think that's okay. So in this case I tried to like make this point by saying, you know, I've never taken a philosophy class and yet you still want me to talk about it. 
And, and you know, the intention was to point out that just because someone isn't taking a class on a subject doesn't mean their opinion isn't valid. Um, but I think this guy just like completely missed the point because um, he just, you know, again, went on this like belittling rant about how apparently because I've not studied philosophy in an academic setting, basically none of my opinions on religion are valid. <laughs> and how can I be an atheist if I've never studied philosophy? And it was just, it, it was really bizarre. And I think he just kind of missed the entire point of my comment. So, these are just kind of like a couple of personal examples of like what I've experienced, but uh, overall I want to kind of like end this now so it's not just like an entire video of me just like bitching and ranting, that's not my intention at all, right? I don't know, maybe, no it's not, it's not, but I just kind of wanted to sum this up with like a little description of what I think kind of like intellectual people do. Um, so they're the people who place seeming intelligent above everything else. Like, it doesn't matter if they are actually intelligent or not, as long as they seem intelligent to other people. They're the people who belittle other people for not knowing something or for not having the same opportunities as them. They're the people who get so bogged down in details of certain academic stuff that they forget that behind every topic that they're talking about, there are probably real, actual people being affected by it. These intellectuals are the people who complain about things which are aimed at like a mass audience because they're not hard enough for them, they're not complex enough for them, they're not intellectually stimulating enough for them. They're the people who spend way too long defining specific terms and getting bogged down in these like honestly probably insignificant details just so they can win a debate on a technicality. You know, and, the, and these debates are probably silly things like at a party or on Facebook or in the YouTube comments. These intellectuals I dislike are the people who turn everything into a debate, even jokes, even YouTube videos, even a comedy skit on TV. They're the people who enter a conversation and kind of open with words like, actually, you know, just so they can correct you. They're the people who actually think IQ matters. They're the people who will talk about their achievements, even when they're not relevant, just to say, hey, look what I did. Um, and that there's so much more, but I just kind of, sorry for the ranting earlier, sorry for the like kind of stories about things that have happened to me, but I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, a kind of person who I do dislike because they do annoy me. I think mostly they annoy me because I don't like people who mock others without reason. And I, I know that sounds kind of like hypocritical because part of this video is mocking intellectuals, right? But I mean people who mock people in a nasty way because maybe they didn't have the same education as them or maybe they didn't have the same access to the same books or universities or whatever, I don't know. Um, I just, I don't, I don't think it's fair to ever belittle someone because they don't know something yet. And I think, I think that's the big thing. I think there's a huge difference between someone who's willfully ignorant and someone who's trying to learn and maybe doesn't understand something yet. And I think there are very different ways to approach each of those types of people, but this kind of intellectual will belittle both of them in the same way and I don't think that's fair. I really hate to see someone mock someone who's trying to learn and trying to better themselves or trying to improve or trying to expand their knowledge or, or so on. So that's why, I, mostly, why I don't like these, intele these intellectuals. I, I have to put it in quotation marks because like, I don't want to make intellectual a bad word because intellectual isn't a bad word. Intellectual people aren't bad people. But I don't really have any other like kind of word or name for these kinds of people that I'm talking about. But anyway, let's wrap this up. I want to end this here. Let me know your thoughts. Have you ever experienced this kind of person? If you have, what was your experience with them? Have you ever been this kind of person, whether kind of on purpose or by accident? Are you still this kind of person and are you proud of it? If you think I'm being silly, if you don't think this person exists, if you think it's just that I've had like weird experiences with like a very like small specific set of people, let me know that as well. Maybe I am over exaggerated, maybe I am being silly, maybe I'm allowing myself to be bothered by something that shouldn't bother me, I don't know, honestly, let me know your thoughts, I would really really love to hear your opinions. Um, because like I say, you guys teach me stuff and I learn from you and I really really do appreciate that. Um, I also kind of like, I don't, I, I know I've kind of like 
spoken about a few examples here but I don't want people to get kind of like worried that I'm gonna mock you if you comment because I, I'm not at all. Like the vast majority of you, I really do appreciate your comments and I love hearing from you. Even when I don't agree with you or you don't agree with me, I still appreciate you taking the time to comment and let me know your opinion and I do try and read like all my comments. I'm gonna shut up talking now because I'm just gonna get too mushy and I'm rambling again and it's late at night and I should probably go to bed and sleep. Um, but for now, thank you so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this and it's your first time here, please subscribe because I make lots and lots of videos and I'll really, really appreciate it and I'll love you forever. But for now, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate this too <laughs> and I'll see you again soon. Oh, also, I promise I'm usually a lot nicer and less complainy, whiny. I'm, I'm less whining than this, hopefully, I think. I tried. Just wanted to say a quick huge, huge thank you to everyone who is supporting me on Patreon this month with a special thank you to these guys. Ewan Matthewson, Secular Reason, Daniel Clark, Lucky Scott, Jaden Shepard and Matthew Minamar. You guys are all incredible. Everyone else is linked in the description below or on the end screen. You're all amazing and just thank you, thank you so much.